And now congrats on this, this role um, and being part of the MCU, which I imagine is like a, a check mark on every actor's Crazy. bucket list. It's, it's, nuts. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. I wouldn't have even dared to and like entertain the, the idea of me being on it. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Still can't believe I, it. I know yeah. for you, you weren't even allowed to talk about it. I think the, mm -hmm. you announced your casting like two days before the yeah. premiere. Just yeah. We're like always on the phone with them. Like, what's we now? Now are you going to say, nope, not yet. Not yet. I'm like, oh my God, please. Just, please. <laughs> Can you please drop the news, please? But they're, they're so smart. You know, they know what they're doing. <laughs> and how was that for you to, to hold on to that secret? And I, cause yeah, I would want to tell everyone as soon as possible if I, booked a job um, in the MCU. <laughs> um, well, my, my close little inner circle knew. Yeah. Um, uh, no, they didn't really know what I was doing. I mean, they just knew, well, you're going up to play the Marvel and you're going to go do the show WandaVision. And that's, um, that was like, that was really the extent of it. Um, and then, um, you know, we started in 2019, in October. So, and then we had a really long, long shutdown for COVID. Sure. So, you know, things, things just took, you know, the waiting on it just took a long time before we could start back up again. And so, you know, we were sitting, all of us are sitting with this information and wanting to bring stuff out into the open um, a lot sooner than we were able to, you know, we just had to stay quiet for a lot longer than anybody I think anticipated. And me, especially, yeah. I mean, I really had to stay completely quiet until, <laughs> the bitter ends. It was like, oh my like God, come ago. on, you know? <laughs> um, but I can, I know, I mean, I understand why they did it. Yeah. So yeah, it all makes sense. And obviously everything is so secretive when it comes yes. to a show like this and the MCU in general. How much of the bigger picture did you know going into it versus what you maybe picked up along the way? Uh, what, what did I know going into it? Yeah, I mean, like when you signed on, how much of, the the whole story do do they let you know? Oh, when I <laughs> I knew I didn't know anything. Uh, yeah. I mean, I knew I knew enough. You know, I'd worked with Jack Schaefer before, yep. and she asked me to come do this, and I knew I just knew just enough, like nothing, <laughs> just to uh, go. You know, Kevin Feige had to approve me, so I had to go and do a little scene. I don't remember what it was. I don't. I don't even. <laughs> I, I don't remember. But I had to do something, and uh, and then luckily he was like, okay, you know, <laughs> great. Um, and so then when I got to Atlanta, then we did the table read, and then I had, and then it was like, okay, so this is what's happening, you know, very much let in on the secret, and I was like, mm. and I was just so impressed, and I had a million questions, a million, um, which were all very graciously answered, and then <laughs> explored, and then you know went went from there. And how has it been seeing, you know, the fan theories so far? Everyone wants so to know fun, what's up. They? Everyone wants to know what's up with Dottie. They They're think so she's fun. Moon Glow, Mephisto, a sorceress. I love all of them. <laughs> I love all the theories. They're all my favorite. I'm just like keep <laughs> it coming, keep it coming. I can't, I cannot say anything about anything. So all I, I know. Just do, all I can do is just go. This is so fun, and <laughs> I, I, I'm having fun. I'm on it, and I'm having so much fun. I can, I can imagine like not knowing anything like how cool that would be like, I, I would be trying to theorize everything too which i do with I shows that i love anyway I, I, <laughs> always that i just watched um uh bridgerton i always get the yep. name wrong I i'm midway through it no spoilers <laughs> i will not but i i guessed i guessed something uh lady um, whistle down <laughs> yes i guessed okay. lady, lady whistle down i was like <laughs> Good job. I think it's you. <laughs> and I was right. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And I purposely didn't read. I didn't look up anything. I didn't want it. I didn't want it to be slow. <laughs> and now I am a big Buffy fan. I know a lot of Buffy fans, you know, once they saw you in a scene with the rabbit, it became this thing on Twitter. I know, totally. Is that something you ever put together before? Yeah. No. <laughs> Not at all. In shooting it, I'm like, oh, that's such a cute, that's so cute. Because, it was, you know, I, I probably would have if, if, Dottie was having something to do with the rabbit, then I would have been like, oh my God, yeah. for real, you guys, come on. <laughs> like, this is where th we're gonna do this, really? Like, okay. <laughs> um, but it didn't, it wasn't even on my radar. Um, and when someone had pointed it out, I was like, oh, yeah. oh my God, oh yeah. 
that's cute. And just that people <laughs> even think that way is is wild to me too. <laughs> it's so funny, but, yeah. Like how has it been, you know, seeing obviously the fans from Buffy, I think there's a big crossover for this show. Sure, well, any sort of Same world. genre yeah. type of how thing. How has it been just seeing yeah. the reaction from them? I know even Sarah Michelle Gellar posted some love for you on this show the other day too. I think pe yeah. fans love to see that. I assume you must love it too. <laughs> Well, you definitely want you definitely want fans that you started with to come with you yeah. um, as you build your base. Um, and so I, I, I would have been I would have been very surprised if people from Buffy weren't watching the show. It's a very smart show. I don't know that necessarily all Buffy fans like all big comic movies. I don't I don't yeah those two there's that. necessarily go together. Yeah, uh, Buffy was a little bit more it was much more i think more fantasy or cerebral i mean there was plenty of action and all that but it wasn't like it wasn't like comic stuff you know yeah. it was more it was more the 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 relationships and then told through this allegory as opposed to uh you know i don't want whatever this I, ends I, up I, being I, what, what well, yeah whatever whatever <laughs> you know this the superhero yeah. um <laughs> we'll see where but this goes <laughs> is very it's very cerebral there's a lot yeah. you know there's a lot uh, so I, I i definitely see how those fans would latch onto this and be super into it oh well, i can't wait to see where it goes i can't wait to find out who Dottie is and it's been a I pleasure know. meeting you thank have you. a good so one nice to meet you. thank you <laughs> bye